Hey guys, so I'm super excited to share something. I'm getting a new chair today. It's going to go right there. I removed the bench. I'm going to give it back to the friend who gave it to me. Because she still wants it, which is cool. And we don't have to figure out who to give it to. It's supposed to be coming. It's out for delivery right now. I'm so excited. I have to go work, but when I get back... Hopefully it will be here, and I'll set it up and show you guys. I'm so excited. It is such a beautiful chair, and I'm just so thrilled. So I was going to go in my dark academia book nook area. I did a lot of rearranging this week. This dresser was in my closet. As you could remember, if you watched my book nook video, I moved this into my closet. And then I had moved our dresser that was over there, over there in that corner. But I have to make room in that corner for something. So we we'll just kind of rearrange things. And then I put our actual clothing dresser in that closet over there. So, I'm just putting a little touches of Halloween here and there. I'll show you guys a video of it at night time too. Um, just some fall things to cheer me up in the midst of disgusting summer. I actually really like the way that this looks next to my gothic mirror. So, and I put three books there that I'm actually working on reading. Um, and then a book that I had when I was a kid that I really like. And then have a stationary box here. And, um... Then just like a little leaf container catch-all thing, because I'm always throwing things in there. So, um, I'm going to actually do something really fun and exciting, hopefully work on it this evening. This right here, this anime wall is going to go, I love it, but I'm going to redistribute it. I have other places I can put that stuff, you know, maybe over there, or out in the living room or kitchen. I'm just going to rearrange it because I'm going to make a um, old book pages wall. And um, some people may think it's a shame that I'm going to take a book apart, but my mom had these old books for quite a while. I would made this into a you know, Halloween decoration, but... It's an old book from 1910 called The Boy Ranchers of Fugit Sound. And so I'm so happy because it looks really old. It has some cool pictures. I don't know if it has any more pictures. But like the first page is all stained up and old. So I'm going to make use these pieces of paper. This packing paper essentially it'll make like a wallpaper of old book pages and hang it up there so it will look better with the whole darker academia vibe rather than the anime stuff and yeah it's just gonna look really cool so that's a project I'm gonna work on later within the next day or two and I'm so excited about it I just can't wait for FedEx to come I wish I didn't have to go to work because I really want to see my chair and I also still feel like it's going to be a good place to make videos from from now on. Especially with the new background and everything. So, we'll see how that goes. So, guess what? I'm so excited. It's here. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I gotta go to work now. I'll talk more about it later. Oh! It's here, it's here. I'm so excited. It actually came a day early yesterday. And it's so beautiful. Look at the little rivets. And it's so soft. And it came with this nice pillow. And I have this vision of putting the blanket and everything, decorating it for when I'm not using it. Nice. I love it so much. The only thing I don't like about it is the back is not high enough. But with this pillow, I can just relax and read a book and just, you know, sit here. It's so nice and soft. I just love it and I'm so happy in my book nook. 
Now I have a project for this wall behind me. And I'm going to work on that today. No, oh, I might vlog some of it, maybe. But uh, it's going to look really awesome when I'm done. So I went to the thrift store because I wanted to see if I could find some art to put on my new wall that I'm making. And I found this, and there was another piece that I really liked that had flowers. But I only have $14 to my name. So I'm going to attempt to paint and add some extra stuff to this. But unfortunately, it's the type of picture that is closed and I cannot open it without ruining it. So I'm going to try to paint over the glass and see what happens. And then I got this wonderful smelling candle. This Tuscany candle cinnamon coffee cake cinnamon and brown sugar it is brand new both of these items are $5.99 a piece it smells so good it's brand new and I'm so, so excited it's a nice big premium marble wax candle so that's gonna be in my book nook and um, yeah I'm gonna work on this so I got the first part of my book old book wallpaper Done, so I'm gonna go hang it up. It looks pretty good. So I got this much up. I'm just gonna do one more layer at the top and then I'll be done. Hard to tell now, but it'll look better when it's nighttime. So I'll take another video later, but. I finished my book pages full. I'll do a close up of everything else. But actually, that's pretty good. Um, I got some flowers for at my mom's, and I'm hanging them upside down to dry. And then a page for the book. Some black goose feathers. And that, I got that at Goodwill, as I showed earlier. I was attracted to the frame. I actually really wanted to get more art, but I didn't have very much money, so... <sighs> what I decided to do was paint on the frame, and there's a trend going around right now. Um, where you paint little ghosts on, on like, pictures, so I did that. I'll show you guys closer with those three ghosts in there. And I painted some tall trees. So yeah, that's my little book nook, and at night time it's going to look really great. I'll eventually get more stuff to put up there. Not sure what that's going to be yet, but I'm just a work in progress, but pretty much done, and I'm really happy with it. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this moment. 
you know, for like days. Oh, I got my new candle lit. I got my cup of tea. And I have my beautiful chair. And I have my awesome little area, my little nook. And I'm just so happy. And I worked so hard on this wall today. It took me several hours. Well, I don't know how long it took. I didn't really time it. But I would say at least two hours. And then the little painting. Um, yeah, I added the little ghosties to it. And I'm just really happy with how everything turned out. So I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and read a book. Enjoy. Just enjoy this area. Thank you for joining me on this little book nook um, journey. <laughs> I'm really happy how it turned out. It just feels so cozy and I feel so happy in my chair and I'm just so grateful that I was able to do all this and um, I hope it inspired somebody you know to just slow down and take time and relax and Enjoy yourself or get creative and do something that you love or that you want to do for yourself. Something that will be good for your mental health. And um, I was inspired by people as well. Um, and I appreciate them so much. I've been inspired a lot by Dark Academia things and Cottage Core and slow living videos and I just appreciate people who take the time and the effort to make those videos because they're just so amazing and they really raise your serotonin levels and just make you feel really good and I've just really been into watching those lately and then getting inspired and like I said I try to go with dark academia vibe but um, it doesn't have to be paint by numbers, it doesn't have to be right by the book, you know. But I made it the way I want, you know, special way I want. With my own touches, like a little bit of goth, a little Halloween, you know, just eclectic things that I like. And that's just what makes it special to me and personal to me. If you guys have a really nice evening or day, whatever you're doing, just take time, slow down, relax, and do something for yourself. See you later.